this video is going to really help you with math. Yo, what up techies, it's Tickle Jacko here. I know that some people have a difficult time when it comes to memorizing formulas. Somebody had asked me if it was possible to program formulas into your graphing calculator and I said you know what it might be so I looked it up and it is possible so I'm gonna be um, telling you how to do that in this video and I'm gonna be using the distance formula as an example I also know a few other formulas such as the midpoint formula and there's a special one about uh, doing circle uh, telling you the area and the circumference, but that one's a little more complex, but if you want to do that one, also let me know. And I also have installed Flappy Bird on my calculator, so leave a thumbs up if you want me to do any of those. Okay, now we can get down to business. This works on most calculators. Now I have written off to the side here what the distance formula is, in case you don't remember. And these are just some coordinates that we're going to be using later on to practice uh, the formula. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what the formula looks like so you know kind of when we're programming it what each element represents. So we're going to click program distance because that's what I named it and click enter. Now we, I'm given the set of coordinates here that I um, just made up. So our x1 is this number. So we have x1 equals 2, y1 equals 6, y x2 equals 5 and y2 equals 10. We click enter, it gives us the distance, then it hits, says done and returns right to where we can input some more numbers. As we go through and program it, think back to this example uh, so you can kind of see what the end product is going to look like if you program it the, the way I tell you. Let's get to programming. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on this program uh, button and you're going to arrow over to new and click enter. Now I'm going to name this distance uh, because that's the name of the program. There's a limited number of spaces but luckily distance fits in. So we're just going to click enter to create it. Now there's you're going to click on the program again and there's a whole bunch of different things you can tell it to do. I'll go through a few. So our input, which we're going to be using, that's when the calculator says, hey, you need to input something. You need to tell me a number. Then you have your display, and that is when it's going to say something and then give you the answer. Now your execute is um, could be potentially used in um, running a program in another program. Um, but that's a little more advanced. And then you have your return which takes you back to the original screen. First thing we're going to do is input. So you're going to hit program, arrow over to I slash O, and then go 1, input. Because the cal we have to tell the calculator what our values are going to equal. So we're going to do alpha plus to put our quotes, then do alpha Sto, alpha zero, one, second math equals alpha zero, alpha quotes, or alpha plus, excuse me, comma, alpha a. Now let me explain what all this is. You're saying the calculator, okay, x1 is going to equal blank, and that, this is what you put in, and we're going to stow that as a. Now this you're not going to see. But when we go to plug in the formula, it's all going to make sense as to why we put A. So then click enter. And do not type a command unless you see the two dots here because it'll mess up your program. Now we're going to write one for Y1. Because when you're given a ordered pair like this, this number here is X1, this is Y1, and similarly X2 and Y2. So you'd have X1, Y1, X2, Y2, A, B, C, D. Now that I have all of my values, it's time to write our formula. So the first thing we're going to do is go program, arrow over, and click on 3 for our display. Now we're going to hit alpha plus again to get our quotes up, and we're going to write distance uh, 
equals, and then quotes again, and comma. So, as you saw when I, when I ran through the program to start with, it said distance equals, and then it gave the answer. So, that's what this is representing. So, we're going to hit second x squared to pull up our radical. Then we're going to hit the um, parentheses. Now, this is going to be representative of x1, x2, y1, and y2. So, we're going to put a minus... C, parentheses, x squared, plus B minus D, parentheses, squared. And then end the radical, because you started it and I have to end it. Hopefully you can see where our A, B, D, and C came from. Then click enter again. Now there's a couple different ways you can end the program, but for me, I like to just return. So hit program, arrow up until you hit return, click enter, and you're done. Now when you watched me uh, with my formula, you saw how it just went straight to where you can um, type. But if you didn't want that, you could also hit program, arrow up, and hit uh, pause if you wanted to. But I just like it to quickly return. Well, hopefully this has helped you. Um, if you want to go back later and edit some things and change some things, just click program, arrow over to edit, and then click your formula. And you can go back and revise it as you wish. I'm just saying you should still work out the formulas so you don't forget them, so you can check and make sure that your calculator is right, because sometimes it does make mistakes. Um, so I would still work it out, but this is a great way to check. And as you become a better programmer with your calculator and you try more formulas, formulas, you can kind of get the hang of it better, and you can start experimenting um, with the different uh, functions and things like that. But this was pretty much just an introductory into programming, but like I said earlier in the video, let me know if there's a specific formula that you want me to show you how to program so you don't have to go through and do your trial and error. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next one.